what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the center playing some ARK. So this is not going to be a normal video. This is going to be a really short one. I am working on a building video, um, which I just need to edit and then throw up. It might either come up today or tomorrow, which I'm kind of spoiling it by showing some of the stuff that we've been building here. But whatever, it'll be great. Um, also, can I turn off stat FPS? Uh, I was just trying to see how it goes. There seems to be a, have been some performance changes with ARK and... Um, I was just testing out, see if I can turn my settings up and whatnot. And it does seem to be getting better, which I really do appreciate because it's been a long time coming. If you guys do enjoy this video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you have not done so already. So here's what I want to talk about today. And here was this little short video is about. There was an update. And uh, some things in the update were really cool. And I'm going to look at those. We're just going to look at a couple parts of it. I know there's a bunch of other stuff going on too. But there's really two things I want to look at. Number one is the new UI. And that's the good news. I love the new UI. First of all, uh, you can see my hotbar looks obviously different. The text. Oh, look at the text. See where it says level up available. See how it says the trike. Castroids. Per Pteranodon. See how it's so sharp and clear. And look how blue and nice looking that is. Oh, it looks so much more professional now. It feels much more like a professional game than a failing early access game. I love it. I love the blue colors. I love the look. Now, check out the inventory. Bam! Completely different. It's really awesome. And we're going to kind of break it down. We're going to start from the left-hand side. It's an inventory tab and a crafting tab, um, which is interesting. It looks better. I actually didn't notice that at first. Um, still got your search bar. All sorts of just drops and sorting options here, which is really cool. You can make new folders, which is cool. Um, and you can see way more of your inventory. The one thing I don't like is the text is a bit small. That could be a little more clear, but overall it looks really good. The right panel is your person. And there it is. <laughs> the middle panel is going to have all your armor, your stats, uh, your insulation, your location, all that. Um, now check this out. Right underneath that, there's a little bar that says XP and then points available. And under where it says points available, it says one, meaning I can level up one time from right now. Bam, check it out. Um, so that's super cool. I really do like that. Uh, overall, I think this just looks awesome. And at the very top, there's all these different tabs. Uh, now, these are mostly we've seen before, right? Inventory tab, Ingram points tab, uh, tribe manager, survivor profile options. But one of them, tame groups. I don't know. Was there an option for this? I, maybe there was before. But anyways, I've never really used this. So maybe we'll explore into that at some point. Overall, I think the UI is awesome, awesome improvement. And I'm really pretty stoked about it. I like the way it looks. I love the fact that they cleared up the way text looks. Everything looks so much sharper. Um, well done, wildcard. For sure. Now, oh, also look at the dino inventory. Same thing. Look at that. Bam! Massive inventory. None of these guys have anything in their inventory, do they? <laughs> um, now, one thing I did notice when you open up the beaver's inventory, it defaults to the crafting one first. Um, let's go folder view. And so you do have to click over to inventory to see your inventory. I've noticed that. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it is what it is. Now let's talk about, uh, let's talk about what's making me sad today. Let's just, let's talk together. So when it comes to ARC, and I like ARC, I've got multiple thousands of hours of game, of uh, game time in it. And um, my favorite thing has always been two things. One, breeding. I love breeding. Um, actually, there's, I mean, there's lots of things I love. I love breeding. I love building. Uh, but you know what? Of anything in the game, what my favorite thing is, is flyers. I love flyers. I've always got like 75 Quetzals that I've like bred the perfect one and the fastest Pteranodons and some Argents, which end up being useless anyways. Um, I love flyers. It's just the convenience, the speed, the, the way they just gracefully move throughout the air. It's all amazing. Or so it was. There has been a flyer nerf. And not just any nerf, but a nerf that strikes my very core. Because now, check it out. Look at this. I'm, I got my flyer here. I'm like, ooh, I can fly. Man, this Argent is kind of slow, right? Well, that's okay, because I'll just spend the first, you know, 10 levels or whatever boosting speed, except for you can't do that anymore! You can no longer level speed on flyers. And if that's not the saddest thing you've heard all day, I don't know what is. Because um, that means this Argent will never go faster than this. He'll never achieve his dreams of being a speed Argent. And same thing with Quetzals. And Quetzals are deathly slow, unless you can boost speed. Um, 
Pteranodons will never be the super fast scouting Pteranodons. This is now their max speed. Now, there are already mods coming out to change this back. And um, we may end up using one of those because fast birds are where it's at. I don't know. But it's really unfortunate. It just seems like something really crazy. I understand that there is reason for it when it comes to like PvP and stuff. You're making birds that turrets can't even hit and dragons and stuff and C4, blah, blah, blah. All sorts of PvP stuff that I've never really delved into that I know people have problems with. But it just, it sucks. Honestly, that's the only way I can think about it. It's awful. And, oh, I didn't even talk about the stamina. So let's say I'm flying around on a bird and I run out of stamina. And I land, there doesn't gain stamina right away. It's like a, a delay. And I think I heard it was up to like 10 seconds. I don't know. Now, if you did already have a bunch of points in your bird in speed, they do get refunded. See, I have 25 points available here that I can no longer put into speed. I'm going to suggest you go ahead and put those into stamina. I'm just going to pump all oh, stamina to 500. So let's check this out. Let's see how the delay is. It shouldn't take long for this guy to run out of stamina. Um, oh, this is his max speed. I'm sp sprinting right now as fast as I possibly can. Okay, he's almost out of stamina. Let's get him all the way to zero. And then we'll go ahead and open up his stats and see what it looks like. Um, oh, also, same thing on Quetzals. But also, uh, no longer are Quetzals gaining stamina when you stand on top of them. They have included an I and I option to change that if you do have an unofficial server. Uh, which we probably will, because it's an awesome thing and the main reason of Quetzals. Uh, but, oh, this is like this... I mean, when they nerfed it, they really brought the freaking nerf hammer down hard. Okay, we're almost out of stamina. We're going to force to land any second now there it is now let's look stamina is still at zero still at zero so like if you're trying to get away from something and you don't realize oh there it goes now it's going up so just a few seconds so not as bad as i thought but definitely not good uh, so it's, it's awful because i do love the new ui i cannot stand the new flyer nerf um but i just wanted to kind of update you guys as far as that and what's going on there uh <laughs> just want to put a quick video i am working on editing a full video uh, which hopefully will come out tonight, or if not tomorrow, depending on uh, when the when the wife wants to hang out. So, before today, guys, or for right now at least, that is going to be it. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you have not done so already. Um, I really do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, and until next time, I will see you later.